Do you believe in miracles? Shoma Karabach taught that if you live your life on the level of miracles, meaning you know that everything's a miracle, everything's from Hashem, miracles happen to you. So it was 1966, and Yida Halber Summary tells in her book, Holy Brother, how Rav Shlomo had just made it to Hate Ashbury in San Francisco. And he sees all these kids wandering around, dazed, drugged, and they don't know what to do with themselves. And he goes over to his friend, his student, Arya Coopersmith, and he says, Arya, look, we need to do something. We need to open up a house of love and prayer. A house where when you walk in, you feel somebody loves you. And when you leave, somebody misses you. And Arya's like, that's an amazing idea. To help all these kids out, give them some spirituality. That's what they're looking for. So Rev. Shlomo says, you're the man, you make it happen. Or he says, awesome, there's just one problem. I don't have a penny to money. So the next day, Arya is schmoozing with his good friend. His name is John Seaman, and he was a, a, a charismatic Catholic. And he's telling him about how Shlomo Karlbach is unreal. He's got this crazy idea. But we don't have a dime to our name. And John hears about this. He says, that's an amazing idea. I can take all these kids, give them a home, show them some love. I'm going to give you my whole life savings. And Arielo's like, Gavalt, how much you got? John says, I got 350 bucks. So John, it was very nice. And Arielo's a little, a little sad because it wasn't that much money. But he's not supposed to Shlomo to say, awesome, brother. So the next day, Arielo. He's walking around, he sees this real estate office, and he says, why not? By any chance, do you happen to have a big building available for $350? And the real estate man says, well, you're in luck. Actually, there's an entanglement of the lawyers and a big man who just came onto the market just a minute ago. It's gonna cost $300, but $50 for the charge. Exactly $350 that he had, bought the house of love and prayer. Kevat. There are all sorts of um, neighbors who weren't so happy about the house of love and prayer. Um, you know, stragglers coming in at all hours of the day. And one day, Shlomo got an eviction notice. And he's so sad. And then there's a nun who comes up to Shlomo and says, What's wrong? Shlomo said, they're, they're tearing my place. They're, they're, the neighbors are complaining. They're taking it down. A nun takes one good look at it and says, oh, I know the, one, the lawyer who's evicting you, I'll speak to him. And the next day, the eviction notice was gone. Shlomo asked her, so what did you tell him? He says, you mess with Shlomo Karbach, you're going to hell. And that's how two charismatic Catholics got the house and love and prayer going, which ended up for 10 years saving and giving spiritual sustenance to many, many holy Yidin and also holy non Yidin in the San Francisco area. And hopefully this story will give us a little spiritual sustenance to believe in miracles and to live our life on the level of miracles. I think a lot of miracles will happen to us. Have an amazing day.